Yeah, David Haradee, my name. I'm the manager here at uh, Kildare, at Tarrago. Well, we, we've had, you know, hailstorms slash floods that take fences, whatever, but this has been the probably the, the only thing I've had of this scope where you bang, you lose 20 kilometres of fences and you go, what the hell am I going to do? Yeah, well, it goes back 17th of January and uh, I was actually in town helping helping a cousin. Was able to actually get, get the cattle out of the line of fire and of course, thanks to the, yeah, the, the firefighters, did a brilliant job. Um, yeah, you gotta look at the positives. I mean, yeah, there was land lost, but there was also a lot of land saved, so. Before the fire, no, I was just a, a rate payer, um, but the full, scope of the services provided by Ella, that's only come to realisation after, after the fire. I actually w wasn't aware of the assistance that local land services provide and it was one of those things in a sense uh, expecting nothing getting a phone call from um, the Goulburn branch. Uh, Bill Johnson there from, from Goulburn local land service rang up and said well people affected by the fire um, there, there were p people offering fodder, you know, for to, to get you out of trouble. So I had cows calving, so that was just great, and um, and other support as well. They they check on you, see how see how you're going, and so that they've been great. It was an organisation which I, I was paying rates for, and not knowing, you know, their their, their role beyond. Yeah, a bit of noxious weed sort of work or something like that. And, and now to be the recipient of the, the benefits and the positives that they offer, now I'll be the first one there lining up to say yes. You know, when, when help's needed, they are there. And then Blaze Aid come on board, volunteer organisation to help you refence. And I tell you what, that let you see the light, so to speak, because that's a, a game changer. Before uh, any of this, I, it was all a bit abstract, what would happen, you know, in, in something like, like a bush. Now, now we've been through it, it's a bit like any of those major events in your life, that there's the initial processing what's happened and then accepting it and then trying to come out the other end. And when I look at it now, well, it does make you, in a, in a sense, part of the land because it is, a, it is one of those things that do happen. And it has happened here. And it's obviously happened to a lot of people and it will happen in the future. So the, the, the best way to deal with it is to try and put a positive slant. It's, it's, a, it's all good.